Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Eddie G, with another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you another text effect that's going to allow you to do a thick embossed text on any material to make your final document look just like this. Okay guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about another text effect that you can do in Adobe Photoshop that's going to allow you to add thick and embossed text to most background images that you bring in. So we're gonna start with a new document. Mine is gonna be 1920 by 1080. And again, if you've watched any of my tutorials in the past, you know that I just like to work in the standard high definition format. So for a background, I'm just gonna import in a vintage piece of paper that I found for free and you can use any image you want. You can use rock, you can use wood. For this tutorial, though, I am going to use this vintage piece of paper. And yes, of course, since we're talking about a text effect, I'm going to come over here and grab my text tool, and I'm just going to type out the words embossed text. Now I'm going to make this bigger so everybody can actually see it, and I'm going to center it in the document as well. So now we've got our text that we're actually going to make it look like it's burned or carved into this vintage piece of paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to right click on my text layer and I'm going to rasterize type. Now I'm going to come down here and click on the new layer icon. Now with this new blank layer selected, I'm going to control click the embossed text layer. Now what that's going to do is that's going to select the text on that layer. So now I'm going to hide that layer and all that's going to be left is the actual selection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here first to edit and I'm going to come down to stroke. Make sure that your color is set to black. Your stroke width is going to be 20 pixels and make sure that the location is set to the outside and click on OK. Now I'm just going to deselect that. Now we have our embossed text stroked. So what we're going to do now is that first of all, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to double click on this layer two, which is the selection that you see right now. And that's going to bring up the layer option or the layer style window. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fill opacity down to 0%. Now, obviously this is gone, but this is actually where we're going to create the text effect that we're looking for. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on inner shadow. Now you want to set your blend mode to hard light. You know, make sure your color is black. The opacity is going to be about 60%. Again, this is going to differ a little bit depending on what type of font that, you know, it's either serif or sans serif or the material that you actually brought in for your background. But a good starting point is about 60%. We're going to leave the angle set to 120. We're going to come down here to distance. Now, again, depending on the font that you choose, you can come in here and play with this. But I like mine at about 6%. All these that I'm going to talk about here, the choke and the size may differ for you again, depending on the font, but the choke I'm going to set to about 17, 15 to 17% and the size is going to be 10. So you can see our inner shadow here is actually starting to take shape. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a color overlay on this. But firstly, you want to make sure that we're going to click on the color right here next to the blend mode, which I'll cover in a second. And we're going to make sure that the hue and saturation are both set to zero. And the B right here is going to be set to 60%. So go ahead and click on OK. Now, when you come back into your cover color overlay layer style, you want to make sure that your blend mode is set to linear burn. And now you can start to see our embossing is actually start to take shape. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is apply a drop shadow to our embossed text. So I'm going to click on drop shadow. You want to make sure the blend mode is set to multiply. Your color again is going to be set to black and you want to make your opacity around 70%. Now, depending on your style and again, the background and the font you use, you may want to come in here and tweak this a little bit to your liking and your site. But for my intensive purposes in this tutorial, I'm going to keep the opacity set to 70%. Now you want to change the angle to minus 56%. This one is actually a pretty hard number that you want to stick around. You can go up to about minus 60 or down to minus 50%, but I like mine at about minus 56. And again, depending on the font family that you choose, these settings could be a little bit different. So play around with them to make sure that you're getting the look that you want. I'm going to keep my distance set to five and my size set to five. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. 
So now this is all done on that stroked copy of the layer that we rasterized in the beginning of the tutorial. So now we're actually gonna turn that layer back on. Now obviously it's gonna fill it completely with black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and select that initial rasterized text layer. I'm gonna double click on it, which is gonna bring up my layer style window. And again, I wanna set my fill opacity all the way down to 0%. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is going to come up here and you're going to click on level and in or bevel and in boss. So the style you want to make sure is set to inner bevel. The technique you want is smooth. The depth you want to keep it 100 percent. The direction you want to go is up. And again, depending on the font that you choose, the size and the soften here could be different. So I have mine, the size set to six pixels and soften set to two pixels. Now, when you come down here to the highlight mode, you wanna make sure that linear dodge is checked. You wanna bring the opacity down to about 15%. The shadow mode is gonna be linear burn and make sure that it's set to black and the opacity is gonna be 10%. Once you have that all done, you can click on okay. And now you can see the embossed text that we initially typed on our vintage paper background now looks like it's almost engraved or burned into the background. So a practical application for this would be if you're doing a flyer or maybe you're actually doing some woodworking and you're making a YouTube thumbnail and you want it to look like it's set into that background image, this embossed text layer effect is gonna get the job done for you just like you want.